What's up guys, welcome to another video. So today we're gonna be talking about the Dakota Digital Cluster and uh, and about the car. So I pretty much took off all the wheels, uh, the doors. I'm gonna replace the bushings and the pins and all that. So let's get to it. Okay, so I wasn't too excited about, the, about this Dakota Digital Cluster. Uh, first off, it's expensive. And for this to be like, 3d printed and like this corner it was it wasn't really cut correctly and the holes being too close to the to the edge here so i'm i'm afraid i'm gonna crack that or something so other than that it pretty look it looks pretty good i uh, like i like how it how it stands out on, on the car um the back it's pretty simple you have your your signal for that little signal box and then you have your turn signals so it's pretty pretty simple it does does come with instructions the little signal box instructions another one and this is how to cut the that little panel where the the cluster goes and uh, they also provide a speed sensor and with they come also with some couplings to put on the engine so here's your water temperature and your oil pressure uh on here and it has this plug i think it's like a t40 i believe so just take it off I bought this at like a Harbor Freight or another tools, but the plug and then I put this other plug and then I put the sensor. So uh, Dakota Digital doesn't uh, supply this, so you have to go out and buy it. So I just put this sleeve, it doesn't come with these. So I put this sleeve, route it through there and along the engine, like all this and then it goes inside the grommet. All right guys, so I'm in the step of doing the turn signals. So this is an 84 Mustang. So I do have this uh, manual. So for the left turn indicator, the wire is gonna be light green and white. I don't know, you can see that. I can't focus light green and white that's for the left turn, left turn indicator and for the right turn indicator it's going to be white and light blue so if you go over here to the cluster where the cluster should be uh, it's gonna be on the right side the right side connector not 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 the left side so the, the right side so you just look for that wire so this is my light green, light green with white and the other one's going to be white with light blue which is like on the bottom. So this here are the both of them together. All right guys, so here it is. Both light green with a white line and white wire with a blue line. So these cables were, uh, which one? so these cables were in the first two from this side. Well, you can turn it, I guess. So they're gonna be on the corners. So if there are these colors, those are your, your turning uh, wires. 
All right, guys. So they send you with two connectors. Uh, one's gonna be white with a green line, and the other one's gonna be white with a black line. So I already butt splice both of these wires. So the green, the white with green. Uh, I'm gonna splice it here, and then the black. The white with black, I'm just gonna run it to the ground. All right guys, so there you have it. They're crimped, tucked in. So now these, they're gonna, this is the right one, right signal and left signal. And then I just ran, ran the ground wire and I'm gonna put it here to the ground box. So basically what you do here on the box do the signal for the for the cluster and put it there and then you just wire your your oil your ground which is a, a cable by itself and then you wire the sending the signal wire and then the positive and then over here on the for the power This is what I did. So the tan wire from the control pack for the Coyote Swap, I input it here on the tack. The ACC power, I that's not connected. The ACC, uh, the constant power, uh, I wired it to. I ran the wire. To the mega fuse that's right there the mega fuse I like I got I got the gen 1 control pack so I have this little box the power distri power distribution box so uh, the, the wire that's coming from here I put it here on the mega fuse which is connected to the battery in the back so that's what I did so the I got the power from here from the mega fuse and I ran the wire to here which is supposed to be like a 14 gauge I believe no 18 gauge so there you guys have it so now just need to connect this to to turn signals which goes right there